Okay, members, item five on the uh, paper um, is the Sexual Offences Act 2003 prescribed police station regulations. The department's proposing to make a statutory rule which is subject to negative resolution procedure updating the list of police stations across Northern Ireland where convicted sex offenders can attend and notify the police of their personal details. The list will be updated to remove a number of police stations that are no, no longer open to the public and provide details of the opening hours of the police stations on uh, the list. So that's the statutory rule that's going to come forward. Um, unless members have any more information, we'll deal with it then whenever it comes to the committee. Can I ask, can I ask just a query on, can we see a list previous, can we see a previous list of the stations? To compare and, also, and contrast, to take it. Yeah, and also to, to ask the question why there are some operational police stations not on this current list, this new list. Yeah. Uh, and there may be a rationale for that. Uh, just to find that out. Okay, happy to ask. Okay, item six, review of personal injury discount rate, pages 94 to 96. The Minister is intending to review the personal injury discount rate, has asked officials to take forward the statutory consultation required under the Damages Act 96 with the Government Actuary and Department of Finance on a proposal to change the discount rate from 2.5% to minus 1.75%. The proposed change is based on the significant decline in returns on investment since the rate was last set in 2001 and the need to ensure claimants are properly compensated. The rate can be changed by a negative resolution statutory rule and the Department will engage with the uh, committee again when the consultation is completed. Um, so it's for members to note, I welcome this. Um, it's long overdue that we, we get this issue dealt with. Um, so we will deal with it whenever we get the uh, next set of papers. Item 7, Draft Committee Forward Work Programme. Uh, the overview briefing on uh, Sejeni, the Criminal Justice Inspector for Northern Ireland, has been confirmed for the 5th of March. Uh, or had been confirmed for the 5th of March, but it has not been possible to schedule the overview briefing on the probation services officials uh, are not yet available to attend on that date. The, there's a possibility of securing uh, that meeting now on the 12th of March, and that's being explored with the probation service. Um, we had discussed members at previous meetings that we would have an informal uh, strategic discussion around other aspects that we may want to consider as a committee. Now that we've had the overview briefings you know, uh, around the department, so. Um, I thought it would be timely that we would have that informal discussion. Um, it's on the forward work programme to be scheduled in for Thursday the 5th of March from 1 o'clock to about half three, depending on just how much um, we want to talk about. So if members have any ideas, um, I think it will be difficult to have the kind of detailed inquiry I know I was involved in with, with the Vice Chairman Raymond McCartney at the time around the experiences of uh, victims and witnesses of crime that lasted a long period of time given the, the time scale that we're in uh, for the rest of this mandate. Um, my own mind is if there are a number of smaller areas that we could do distinct work on reviews um, to try and, and do that um, as opposed to one single big piece which I think could be difficult with the legislation that's coming to the committee but that informal meeting would be a good opportunity for people to have ideas, the type of things that we could maybe consider. We'll talk about that on the 5th and then we'll come up with a final set of proposals then for a meeting before I would like to do at the Easter recess um, so that we can agree here's things that we can review as a committee, carry out a piece of work um, and we'll finalise that then at a second meeting. So if members can give some thought to that for the 5th of March. Um, we'll have that informal meeting then um, at one o'clock. Two possible LCMs um, from Westminster, the Birmingham Commonwealth Games Bill and the Air Traffic Management and Unmanned Aircraft Bill contain provisions relating to Northern Ireland. The Minister's indicated that, um, again, generally in principle, we prefer to legislate in the Assembly but doesn't feel practical in this instance. Subject to the views of the Committee, she's aiming to bring forward both LCMs as soon as it is feasible. Um, both are scheduled into the work programme to take place as soon as practicable and officials will be requested to attend to outline the provisions, answer any questions. The department has advised it may need to ask the committee to accommodate other additional briefings at short notice. If it has to move more swiftly on some issues, 
that is currently planned and would appreciate the committee's flexibility in accommodating the briefings should such circumstances arise and the clerk will continue to liaise with the uh, department if necessary. So we'll deal with those requests as and when they come in but in respect of the two LCMs that's how the minister is intending to to bring that forward and that'll be put into the forward work programme whenever we receive them. So it's to note now just the updated version of the forward work programme unless members have any more comments on that. Okay, correspondence. Um, there's five items of correspondence. Uh, items one, two and four the, just advise that the department has provided further information on a range of issues following the overview briefings by the permanent secretary, the justice delivery directorate and the access uh, to justice directorate. So members, the information is there for noting. Some members had asked specifically um, uh, around this issue um, and if you're content we'll note it and action it as outlined um, in the cover sheet unless members have any comments they're, they're wishing to make or it could be raised under matters arising next week if any member wants to consider some of the information because there's quite a lot of it. Um, Great. Thanks Gordon. Chairman's <laughs> business. Uh, invite from the all-party group um, on domestic and sexual violence. Um, note the Minister's indicated her willingness to attend. Um, I've also been invited along with the Deputy Chair um, to come along to that and I'll seek to <coughs> facilitate that. I may not be able to do it on the 10th of March but I'm sure it'll be accommodated at some other point. Uh, there's a request for an introductory meeting by the Director of Public Prosecutions, um, Stephen Heron. I intend to take that up along with the Deputy Chair at a suitable date and time that can be confirmed. Any other business? Chair, sorry I missed the correspondence there, just an observation. I had requested information around the, the ESA issues and the incapacity and all that sort of stuff. I would have to say the correspondence that has come back from the department is not very elucidating. Uh -huh. And uh, just by way of observation, it particularly doesn't tell me anything. So, but anyway, just by way of observation. It's by design. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll note it. I'm sure there'll be opportunity to pursue it right. at a future session with the department. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other business members? Then informal meet, informal session next week. Um, and then the, there'll be a formal meeting of the committee after that at 3.30 for Thursday the 5th, and that'll be in this room. So informal meeting from 1 o'clock, and then the formal meeting will take place at half three. Thank you. Is the